Hello everyone, welcome to a prospective RP1 playthrough from Ray's Aerospace. This is in Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5, the final version of KSP1. And I am going to try out RP1 after not playing an RP1 career save for four years. The last time I did it was in 1.3.1. I have decided that I'll play as a European Space Agency and I'm going to start in 1971. More about that later. The game difficulty will be hard. And I did make some modifications. I turned off reverting and quick loading. I turned on indestructible facilities. I had requiring signal for control and such. And then I turned off the Kerbalism notifications. We'll do that on a craft by craft basis. We'll turn those on so they don't overload me. And so here we are in the save. Now I install this with CCAN and I'll have the mods in the video description. And so I just did an RP1 CCAN install, making sure to set the game compatible version to 1.12. And then I installed all the recommended ones that were already pre-checked. So that's basically it. Uh, I added a few other things. I'll have those in the video description. So I set the launch site to Kuru. Kuru was, uh, well, Guiana Space Center started out in 1968. And then I had tried to set the system to 1971 the same way I did in RP2000, but I actually missed something. So I just time warped through. Uh, we have to do that before starting any of the other stuff. So we're January 1st, 1971, and we will begin because I have vowed never to do the 1950s and 60s ever again. So as far as a career playthrough, I mean. So, uh, yeah, the administrators, they're not a really good selection for Europe, frankly speaking. But I went with the rocket track, uh, whatever it was called, and we are going to our first launch and then eventually the Carmen line. So we're doing suborbital stuff, suborbital rocket development, and we can only pick up one contract at a time. And the contracts don't pay money. They just give reputation and your money comes sort of governmentally through the administration building. So the administration building, which you saw me in before, which looks completely different, that's where all the money stuff really is. And you get your funding sort of continuously. I did this all during a Twitch live stream so that I could get information from viewers about how to do stuff and what has changed in the last four years since I last played it. But, you know, some of the fundamentals I'm still used to. But this launch complex thing, I was not used to. It's, apparently it's something fairly new. And uh, I was trying to figure out which number was which right there. But I'm thinking about my orbital rocket here. And so the initial launch pad that I have here, ELA-1, which is the first launch pad at Guiana Spaceport, uh, I make too big for our purposes. I'm thinking about an orbital rocket, but really we need suborbital stuff. And so this one is made for 25 tons when we really need something more like two tons. And, but anyway, it'll be good to have this pad. And I'll leave it to the original audio from the live stream from here on unless I need to quicken things up in editing in which case I might be back with my post commentary okay so it's building one research well we should go to R&D why is it so dark around here anyway starting parts we already have those and RP0 we have those non RP1 parts Oh, I like non-RP1 parts. <laughs> I will lay off of that for a sec. Um, we have two science. Post-war rocketry testing. We better have good procedural parts. Conventional tank structure upgrade. Well, I think we need... Let's take a look at what we have. I think I'd rather have the engines, but... If we have good engines, then we'll go with the tank upgrade. Um, Veronique. Well, that sounds French enough. Oh my god, I just right clicked this and it just came up with this menu. I can't even look at this menu. Press new LC. Show a high. Oh, it had the resources hidden. Gosh darn it. Okay, hold on. So those are the tanks for resources, is it? So what you're saying is that when we build the rocket, we'll need to have tanks for the resources. And it'll have to be at least this much. Uh, so as long as this amount is greater than the amount that we need for a rocket, it'll be okay, right? We'll deal with that later. 
I, uh, I don't think I can click any of these. It seems like they have an unlock cost, but then they're they're lit up instead of grayed out, so I don't know. Avionics type, near earth, science score. That's super heavy. We will have to research and unlock. So if I use this one, oh, it's used in simulations, but we can't actually unlock it. Okay. Where's my Araby sustainer? Why can't I automatically select the fuel for this? Needs high pressure tanks. Okay. HP refine. Is there a reason why this is an orange? Orange is not researched. Gosh darn it. Okay, uh, this one is researched though, so we can use that one. Eight minutes. Well, I know that this can't last for eight minutes. So the Airy Sustainer, with this kind of heavy probe core, is impossible. This near Earth is supposed to be a launch core, right? Science core. Unguided. Well, it says unguided, I guess. Operate around Earth. It says unguided sounding rockets, spin stabilized kick stages, and unguided probes. What about a guided probe? I mean, what if we have a probe that can be controlled, like, say, a Mars lander or something? That doesn't seem to fit the near Earth thing or the science core thing. Deep space later on in the tech tree. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just have 2,000 of you. Okay. Let's uh, have you be HP Steel, Bill as well. Um, I know the WAC Corporal can only last a minute, so even those codes is probably too much. Hopefully we can feed through that little core. Well, that's closer to uh, what we ought to be able to do with the RV. Okay, you. Forty-seven seconds. I guess we don't have the technology for the AJ-1027, huh? Early rocketry, post-war rocketry testing. Now we had we were researching something. I had to decide. Well, I think we have decided we want that. Okay. And I guess we'll have to wait until later to get the post-war material science, but we sure need that. I did. No, we've got the fuel. Maybe it's the wrong fuel. Let's see. Oh, I mean, it's, it was probably the wrong fuel. Every version of the Araby has its own thing going, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, it's the burn time. 40 seconds only. Used to be that the XASR had a full minute to work with. <laughs> and they nerfed it. They nerfed the bloody Araby. It was too good. It was too good an engine and they nerfed it. Got a ring decoupler, hollow interstage. Hollow interstage. How bad would it be of me to do this? I don't suppose we can make this interstage a little bit longer. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can even hot fire the Araby. The Araby stage alone is probably pretty good. Okay, so. This one we should already have available potentially, right? And you don't need, you do need high pressure tanks. Oh, I can get to space. How long is your burn time? Proje projected residuals 3.92%. <laughs> oh man. Ray of burn time 45 seconds only still. Probably it's safer not to have all moving if we don't have a control core that can control things. I just want it to go up for an extended period of time. Oops. T 
two, huh? Thrust weight ratio of two. I'm sure there's some information about what angle I should set depending on what thrust weight ratio I have, but I do not have that right now. This is probably too much angle for the spin. We'll see. And we'll try and hot stage DRB. Rollout cost 371. Unlock cost 1007. I suppose we need a clamp of some kind. Check on tooling to see how much it costs. RP1. Tooling costs tooled. Well, we're not going to be able to tool everything initially because our pad costs too much. Yeah, well, we can't tool it yet. We're not going to have enough to pay for all of that. And I don't know if I want to tool this particular rocket anyway. It might be a one-off. I mean, all we need is to... Let me should pick that one up. Get past the Karmon line. Okay, let's just warp till our pad is ready. Okay. Well, maybe we would have enough. Let We can tool something. Well, but it doesn't seem like I can tool part of it. Yeah, we're not gonna. We might want to maintain the this tank on the Araby stage. That might be worthwhile. There is a tooling option. Oh, uh, just right-click kind of thing. Tool tank. Yeah, let's do that one. We're gonna upgrade the launch complex to have our resources, and it looks like it automatically selected them. Renovate cost is 3342 though. Sorry. Costs more if I set it to 18 than it does when I set it to 25. I guess that's because I initially set it to 25. The renovate cost is just 75, okay. So we just need 75 for resources. It's gotta take eight days, okay. All engineers at ELA1 have been unassigned. Well, I guess we do have the money to tool it, because these tanks are the same diameter, so they're cheaper to tool than it initially told me. Oh, fine. Tool all. This vessel did not pass editor checks. Mass minimum exceeded. Currently at 1.82 tons, minimum 18 tons. So like, we can't launch a small rocket on the pad? Okay. Mini pad one. Maximum tonnage two. I mean, the problem is that they don't even let me do decimal places on the length width stuff. Uh, it does fill the current resources, okay. Fine. I guess we have to move the staff. Can I build it now? Oh, um, right. Different pad. Can I build it now? Size limits exceeded. 1.1? Oh, the fins. Okay, fine. Please. You didn't let me put in decimal places. I feel like it should already be less than one meter, but that doesn't agree with me. I sort of need a certain amount of finage. Okay, let me just take them off. Sanity check time. Yeah, it doesn't... This is 
these these are 0.6 meter diameter tanks. There's no way this is more than 0.6 meters right now. Something is being calculated wrong. Well, let's just try renovate. We'll have uh, two meter. Well, now it says no. That's ELA one. Well, let's just time warp until it's finished. Mini pad. All right, now it's okay. But I want my fins back. Still, it shouldn't have been reading 1.1 meters when I took off the fins and launch clamps, but we'll ignore that for now. Let's just go somewhere for once. Vessel cannot be built. <laughs> Anything to stop me, apparently. Still in development. Can be researched and unlocked. Okay, oh, yeah, for zero. Yeah, whatever cost. Give me it to me. Two of them. Estimated time infinity. Staff. Where are you? We are. You're all unassigned because we had to renovate the pad, I guess. Okay. Well, just warp to complete. Okay. Well, we actually have SAS. I mean, I'm shocked. Well. Anyway, let's see if the engine works. Well, we no, we'll no longer have SAS. Spin stabilization is doing its thing. I should hot stage. Let's rearrange this. Those fins are doing the separation thingy that is always worrisome. Ah. Uh, hot staging did not work. I don't know if regular staging would work any better though. 43 kilometers. I, I don't think test flight got me. It was, it was uh, real fuels and uh, fuel being on sale that got me, so it wasn't a reliability issue. Not that the fact that we have 80, uh, 48 seconds mean time before failure is a good thing. So next time maybe the staging will work right and test flight will get me. Okay, back to Space Center. We might need a little uh, separation rockets to settle it down. Let's see, we do have one left. Uh, I guess we can slap something on. Are you small enough? We know they do like their SRBs. But we'll try the next one first and then see. We'll try it without hot staging. Okay. Probably could do with less tilt on the fins. I doubt it'll work without the hot staging. Probably just have to use the little SRVs. Maybe it just took a long time. Maybe I'll hot stage it really early. No, it still says vapor and feed lines. It was no good. Okay. I'm just gonna... Well, I guess we'll wait. Spins. Uh, clearly that didn't work. It might be because we're spinning too fast. That's why I kept the fins on this one straight though. I was hoping it would despin. Maybe I used to also turn them the opposite direction. I might try that. But I think we'll add separatrons too. You're going straight up anyway? Well, in previous versions, that would still lead them to tumble when they went through max Q. 
Spin stabilization is better if we're going through max Q. If you keep them straight, it'd still tumble a lot of the time. Maybe that's changed, I don't know. But we can certainly reduce how much they're tilted. Of course, if the separation motors don't go well, that's another thing that can fail. I don't suppose we can actually get the separation motors to be a little bit less thrust. Three seconds is basically what I want. That's a little bit of an extra burden. Oh, that engine failed. I actually want these to fire immediately. Going the other way with it isn't a good idea. We should probably just keep them straight. But still, the first stage failing is more of a problem here. Let's see how it does. Ah, uh, close still. Well, now we've got a nice mean time before failure. Can I tell it to gather science? Well, we're not going to have enough time to get the full amount of telemetry data. Let me see how much time it will take to edit the fins on the next one. I think going the other way on this is not necessary. Well, I mean... Even if it's just a matter of the main engine working, or both engines working. I mean, that'll be enough to get us to space at least. Oh! Oh, I messed up. I, sh I needed to do that. Well, first of all, yeah, yeah, I messed that up. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, I'm just gonna abandon that. We needed to use the Separatron the SRBs at the same time as we decoupled. Okay, one more of those. Looks like we're mass producing them as, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Uh, good thing we did tool them. Okay, you guys, there. Alright. Please stay lit, please stay lit. <laughs> well, we got 348 up there. I don't think we're going to get the upper atmosphere done this time, just because of the speed at which we're going through it. This will be a bit of a heat check as well. Okay, do we have enough hang time to get the in space done? We're getting a bunch of thingamajiggies. Contract complete. Oh, these are the records. I wish I got money. I like money. <laughs> I don't like stars. It's like I'm in grade school. Okay, I think we we're gonna get the space one done. There we go. We're space low telemetry. Okay, now... Yeah, we're probably not gonna get done with the upper atmosphere. Getting me into RP1. I'm gonna be working on RP2000. And I just wanted sort of reference. I was also thinking maybe I could add parts to the upper part of the tech tree. Okay, it's all exploding. For RP1. 
we need to take a look at that. Our probe core is still alive just to make sure that we have to sit with this until it's in ground. No, I'll just abandon mission. But I'm I'm playing European oh god, they've done something. Alright, so there you have it. In my first taste of RP1 and KSP 1.12.5, I managed to get my rocket into space. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.